In part b, we have another summation, and we notice that the n is the exponent, which means this is going to be geometric. It's going to be a repeated multiplication. Again, you can just plug in the numbers if you want to, starting with 4 and going up to 20. So we could plug in 3 times 2 to the 4th, and then add that to 3 times 2 to the 5th, plus 3 times 2 to the 6th, all the way up to 3 times 2 to the 20th. Or we can realize that since it's geometric, we can use our geometric summation formula of a sub 1 times 1 minus r squared, and sorry, the squared is on the inside on the r, all over 1 minus r, in which case we just need to figure out what a1 and what r are. a1 we figure out by plugging in 4, so we get 3 times 2 to the 4th, which is going to give us 48, and r is our common ratio, which is the base of our exponent, in this case 2. Thus, to solve for this, let's see, 17 terms, we take 48 times 1 minus 2 squared all over 1 minus 2, which gives us negative 144 over negative 1, and that entire summation is 144.